Hello? on the phone. Hello there, sir. Hi. Yeah, this is uh, Ron. I'm calling from the uh, main office with uh, Bourbon Street uh, Live Pizza. Yep. Uh, we, uh, we received an email from you the other day. I've been trying to get a hold of you. What's, okay. What, 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 what's the problem? What, what, what okay, I... now every time, okay, so every time I go to your guys' company, huh? um, I always have to get them to remake my pizza because it's always wrong. Well, how is it wrong? Okay, so I'll ask them to put barbecue sauce instead of pizza sauce, and I'll get it, and it'll be pizza sauce. Um, I'll ask for all my toppings on top. It's always underneath. This time, I got my pizza, and um, she had to take it back in, get it made. Well, then, she took it back in, got huh. it remade. We got it home, and her pizza was completely wrong. What, what None was, of the what toppings was... that were supposed to be on it were on it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like, it's just every time I go see you guys, I have a very bad experience. You, you know what? I, I'm real sorry about this. We, we've, we've had a few complaints about one of our chefs. What I'm going to yeah. do, because uh, we, we want to make this right with you, obviously. We don't, we don't like to see this yep. stuff on the internet. Um, yep. I'm going to call through to the, to the head chef, because I think he'll, he'll maybe want to say something to you personally. Would that be okay? Um, sure. I'll stay on the line with you, but I'll just patch him in now. One sec. Uh, hold on. Young Yang, Mike. Mike. Yeah, what you want? Mike, Mike, we got a customer on the line with us. This is David. Uh, D David, tell tell him what happened. Okay, so. Every day that I come, like, I Wait, order huh? from you guys quite a bit. And every time I order from you guys, I always get my pizza wrong. I'll ask for what? barbecue what? sauce what? What you want? instead of pizza sauce. I'll get pizza sauce instead of the barbecue sauce. Um, the toppings are never sauce? what I, I ask them to be. They're always something different, or they're missing the toppings that I ask for. Just every time I come to you guys, I have a very bad experience. Why? Why you want barbecue sauce? Pardon? We? Why you put barbecue sauce? We put pizza sauce on the pizza. We put not barbecue sauce. Okay, well that's what I like. I don't like pizza sauce. Well, you buy a pizza. We put the pizza sauce on the pizza. Okay, well I asked for barbecue sauce, not pizza sauce. Well, you order pizza. Did you order barbecue sauce? It's a pizza. We put pizza sauce on the pizza. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why you guys are being rude, but sure. I'm not being rude. You, 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 God, you, you, bad. You make fun of my food. I'm, I'm not making fun of your food. I'm just asking for you to properly make my shit. I put my penis on your pizza, or soy sauce on the pizza, but I don't know. I'm putting the barbecue sauce on the pizza. Okay, well, you know what? Now that you're saying this shit to me, I'm just gonna take you guys to the Better Business Bureau. Tell me oh. you're gonna put your penis on my pizza. Oh, I said I did not say my penis. What are you talking about? You're just okay, a big you know fat face I'm done with this conversation. You guys are ignorant. You guys are rude. Yeah. And I will never be back to your store to pay for anything again, to buy anything, because you guys do not penis. properly know how to make a pizza. It's a peanut sauce. Peanut sauce. Not peanut okay. sauce, you weirdo. Okay. Okay, well, you anyways, like I said, you guys are ignorant fucks. You are so stupid. I will never be back to you guys again. You are stupid American. Oh, he's stupid. Goodbye. Oh, he's the one with the barbecue sauce on his pizza. Sauce. You like that barbecue sauce. Goodbye. Goodbye. What he scammer? He's a boy on his pizza because he sounds like a little soy boy. Soy boy. All right, you guys Wait, are retarded. Oh, and... don't you want you to come in with her? I'll kill you, man. Hey, you guys are on I come for you. Good. What you want? You're a fucking packy. Shut the fuck up, you packy fuck. I make the pizza saw. I make good pizza. It's a good pizza. You don't like the pizza? Don't eat the, the pizza. I will, you dumb cunt. Now don't ever, like, just fuck off and don't call me again. 
Get your boyfriend on the phone. We talk to your boyfriend. We call you back. We call you again. Goodbye. I'll call you right back. We make us outside the gap. Go fuck your mom. Oh, you been fucking my mom? There he goes. <laughs> I'm gonna what call a you a pussy! Right. Holy shit! Calling you a packy? What a fucking idiot! Holy shit! I'm gonna I'm gonna call him one more time before I wrap things up here. Oh, you won't believe who's back! The royal Jep the royal German Shepherd dog breeder person. They're back. What do you mean they're back? No. Remember, that was the person like a few. Like, I re I remember it well. Months ago, two days ago. Hello, sir. Oh, Hello. Oh hi, Th this is Ron again. I I got disconnected from the call, uh, but was everything okay? No. No. No, I your the uh, main chef or whatever you just put on the phone. Right. Uh, him and his girlfriend or him and whoever it was were very fucking ignorant. Oh god. I I'm so I mean, w do you want to speak to Mike, the owner? Sure. Uh, let me let me just try Mike's extension. He should be in the office. Just uh, one one second. So I'm really sorry about this. I don't know what happened. I I got disconnected from the call just as you started talking. Just just one moment. It's Mike. This is Mike. Mike, uh, we got I got a customer on the line. Needs to talk to you. He he just spoke to the guys in the kitchen. Apparently, they were really rude. A customer's yeah, got a serious. Yeah, that's over here. They're yelling at me all about some guy calling them and shit. What's going on over there? Yeah, this is this is Dave. David, go ahead. Are you the guy that just I, called I, my? You call him? Stuff. You make fun Hello? of him? What? Did you make fun of my cook over here? He's all pissed off. He's telling me some pussy boy just called him screaming at him. Actually, you guys called me. Well, he's what would you say to my cook over here? He's about to quit. Oh, uh, well, all I said, I put a complaint on the Bourbon Street Pizza website. Just saying that every time I get my pizza, it's wrong. And I always have to get them to remake it. And this guy started freaking right out, screaming at me, telling me he was coming to my house. And uh, some girl was in the background telling me to put my put my boyfriend on the phone. And they're just all like, fucked. All right, dude. What, what do you want me to do about it? The guy's about to quit on me over here. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Well, why not? You know what? Stop coming to our restaurant because you just fucked up the whole kitchen. Perfect. Good. I don't... This isn't even bourbon street pizza. Okay. Fuck off, then. You dick. Yeah, no problem. I'll take you to the Better Business Bureau. You ain't doing shit, bud. This is all recorded. Oh, and I didn't give you permission, because this is a two-party state, you felonous freak. I don't give a fuck. I recorded yeah. it all because you guys are you all ignorant fuck. You commit felonies. You don't give a fuck. So keep committing felonies, you dipshit. You're such a punk little kid. Stay the fuck out of my restaurant. Nope. Yeah. You know what a trespass is, motherfucker? I'm going to trespass your ass. And then you come here and get the fuck arrested. How do you like that shit? Stay the fuck out of my restaurant. All right, no problem. Sir, this is Ron. Ron, sir, this, is, sir, Mike, 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 chill out, Mike. Sir, this is Ron again. Yep. I'm, I'm so sorry about this. I just want to let you know that if you want to come to the restaurant again, I'm gonna give you a free, uh, pizza sauce pizza and fucking drop kick you through the wall when I give it to you. All right, you little bitch. Now fuck off. Extra pizza yeah. sauce. Fuck when off. When you think you're big enough, there, you little packy. Why is it, Why do you think everyone's a packy, you fucking ignorant racist? I sure am. Listen, I can't even half understand half of it. Well, that's because you're... Especially your fucking so-called cook. It's because you're an idiot, sir. That's why. Oh, oh, am I? 
You know what? Last time you complained, I just want to let you know, three of us spat in your pizza and you ate that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm and sure. One of the chefs, he's got hepatitis B, so good luck with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, love, yeah, I, love, yeah. I love this. I, I write a complaint on something, and this isn't even Bourbon Street Pizza. There's no way this is. The number's on your caller ID, you fucking idiot. Yeah, and it didn't say Bourbon Street Pizza, you fucking dumb fuck. It's caller ID. It's call, call, why, why would it say that? It's my why does it say Grand Central? What? You fucking retarded or something? No, I'm not retarded. It's Good luck with that. <laughs> what a dick. Goodbye, Packies. <laughs> Pack Go suck your friend off and get the fuck off the phone. Why don't you just hang up and stop fucking calling? You racist piece of shit. Yeah, you're right, I am. Yep. So go fuck off. You know, you know what all you patches are good for? Go Is that on. the only word you know? Pucky, pucky, pucky. Hanging in my backyard, hanging in my backyard from a rope. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, don't be surprised if you get a whole lot of phone calls from a whole lot of people once we post you all over Craigslist, dumbass. And he hung up at that. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, well, good way to end the show anyway. I don't like that guy. Yeah, what, don't a like him what a piece of shit. It'd be a shame if I gave his number out to a bunch of people. He just gave ours out. Yeah, I know, right? How dare he? Whatever will we do. Um, right, that's the end of the show. So yeah, when I when I got rudely interrupted earlier, uh, I found out I've got I've got I've got to go do a bit of driving tomorrow, which sucks. Oh fuck! Who the fuck is this? Okay. It's the reward zone. Oh uh, no, it's him. It's him. Answer with a different voice if you can, and just be like Bourbon Street Pizza. Oh, Inks, you want to answer? Yeah, do it, do it, Inks. Go ahead. Bourbon Street Pizza, may I help you? I had to get him to wipe off the fucking scales. Hello, Barbara Street Pizza. May I help yeah. you? Because <laughs> people just kept walking in buying crystal. Same scale. Sir? I was like, uh, Hello? Can you, like, uh, wipe those scales off, bro? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Wait, right, wait a right. minute. I think he just butt-dialed us and he's talking about meth. He's talking about crystal meth. Let's listen. What do you want? Uh, what do you want for for sixty? I was like, okay. I was like, oh, you sure you don't want no down or Tina? I was like, yeah, I'll get it, bro. <laughs> Dude, we yeah. gotta call him back and play his shit back to him. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you want anything from Tina's anymore?
forgot to ask them though, do these containers count too as ten containers? Okay. No, they're just the ones where you push. They're child resistant. Yeah, Mark Brown opened it. Like this one? No, right across from Legacy okay, 420. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a little trailer. Shatter, 30 bucks a gram. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I don't... Don't get me wrong, I don't know how good it is. But 30 bucks a Juno. Yeah, that, that made him hang up. Um, so Did you text him? Yeah, so just to explain, the reason he just hung up was I just texted him. <laughs> I said, uh, I'm listening to you sell drugs, sir, and I'm recording all of this. <laughs> I think you need to apologize before I turn this in. And uh, he, he just replied, I'm not selling drugs later. Right, let me just bring up the recording of that. Uh, bear with me a second, folks. <laughs> just going to get the recording ready. Alright, I'm not even going to edit that shit. I'm just going to get the recording ready. This isn't even Barb and Sleep Pizza. Okay! Fuck off then! Sure. You just gave ours out. Oh, no, know, right? How dare he? Whatever will we do? Play, play his shit back to him. Yes. Order some mess. Right, okay. Right, now I'm going to call him back and play that back to him. Yeah, it was, it was either that or call his local police station using his number and just let them listen in for five minutes. You should. Yeah, that, that's, uh, I don't know. As, as a rule, we don't call the cops ever, though, but, but that would have been great. David. After leaving a message, you can hang up right. or press pound for more options. Them 
All right, and I just I hung up there. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't going to leave my voice on the recording. <laughs> So, Fucking Tiffany talking about heroin and shit. So he, he just got a voicemail of himself naming his drug-using friends and what drugs they use. <laughs> and snorting them. And snorting them live on the air. I, I swear to God, I don't know what it is, but every time I try and end a show, something fucking ridiculous happens. It's happened like the last three or four phenomenal. times. Like last, that was phenomenal, dude. La last time I tried to end a show, a fucking guy called looking for a whorehouse. And, and this time... <laughs> We fucking get butt dialed by a, a fucking little wannabe cokehead drug user. Holy shit. What what is funny about that whole conversation listening back is that's that's like a typical kid doing coke, right, isn't it? He's like yep. he's had a couple of lines and suddenly he's fucking listing every single drug on the planet that he can get his hands on because he's fucking big time now. Because he feels so fucking great. He's probably got like fucking 20% pure coke that he's doing in the back of his friend's father's car right now. He said, I don't know how, honestly, I don't know how good this shit is. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Literally what he said. Yeah, I don't know how good this shit is, I'm just gonna put it up my nose anyway. Cause he's a fucking genius. Uh, he rips a line, starts coughing, I mean, dude, yeah, that yeah, 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 is yeah, that's not fucking like amateur hour. It is completely objective evidence of him fucking talking and doing drugs. What what was funny about it was like he was ripping a line and then he was spitting it out. Did you hear? Well, he, he started coughing. He was like, "Yeah, but I, I, I don't know." He he just sounded like a fucking if idiot. If you snort basically. meth, it's hard as fuck. That's some shit that that hurts, man. I don't know if he was snorting meth. I think he was snorting coke. I don't know who know, who fucking knows. Yeah, holy shit. Let's uh, let's call him back one more time. I'm just gonna Google his number and see uh, see what comes up. I can uh, help he's shitting anything. himself. He will be. Well, he hasn't responded. I'd say he's probably a little freaked out. Here, here he is. Dave. After leaving a message, you can Dave. hang up or... All right. Okay. So uh, next plan. Let's see if we can find out about him. And then let's see. He's in Belleville, Ontario. Yep. 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 Doesn't Call him fun. back and just make noises. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, Dave. You got any ice? <laughs> you got any ice today? Hey, Dave, you got some ice? Dave's not here, man. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. Some ice on your pizza? Alright, so check this out since he wants to avoid me now. He's gonna feel so, He's gonna be. If he is on meth, he's gonna be shitting bricks right now yep. listening to that message. He's yep. gonna be paranoid as fuck. I'm in his little friend. Uh, okay, right, I'm gonna try something now. I shouldn't do this on the air, but I don't, I don't care. Yeah, he did turn his phone off, that's what... Yeah, we'll see about that. Watch this. Don't worry, it's just gonna ring. Hello? Oh, hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah, hi. Did you listen to your voicemail? Yes. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, I don't care. Oh, okay. Because uh, we got your mom's number, we're just gonna play that to her. You don't have my mom's number. <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay. We uh we got the number for the uh well I'm not gonna say actually I'm just uh, gonna play it for quite a few people. Man, you're fucking stupid. Like, okay, one is John Boy three six eight zero two nine. John Boy three six eight zero two nine. And the other one is John Boy three six eight zero two eight. John Boy three six eight zero two eight. Dave? Dave? Yep. Dave, it's pretty stupid what? sitting in the back of your friend's car doing rails and just naming all your friends and all the drugs they're on, really. Don't you think? So this Not is really. the gentleman you were on the phone with? Uh, yeah, this is him now. And <laughs> this is his phone number here? Oh, yeah. Alright. There's, like, uh, there's like seven minutes of this. I can give you the recording now. Alright, we'll take it from here. Thank you very much. Good, good luck, Dave. So, did they revive Tina? Dave, you've gone awfully quiet. I mean, we'll just do the cell phone tracking, but do you guys happen to know anything else about him or no? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know where he lives. Well, alright. I know we have we can get the camera info 
order to get his plate from uh, that pizza place we were talking about. He's in uh, Belleville, right? Yeah. Dave. Dave, you've gone awfully quiet, Dave. Dave, are you okay? Dave. Dave, remember when you called me a packy? Can you guys all just leave me alone, please? <laughs> like, for real. Dave, you sound a, little, a lot more timid than when you were screaming packy and then listing off all those drugs. Well, because, like, you guys just, like, all I did was just complain that my pizza's not right. Remember when you said packy, you though? Remember when you were like, fucking packy? Remember when you were fucking packy? You were hanging people in your backyard? Remember that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when you said you had packies hanging in your backyard? Do you remember? All right. Come on, what do you have to say about that? Nothing. Can you guys just leave me alone, please? Only if you apologize so properly. Like that. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. No, now, no, no, no. Without, no, without the attitude. Without the attitude. I, I don't have attitude. Can Okay, I am sorry, guys, for anything I said. Now, can you guys please leave me alone? Now, now, now tell us what you've learned from this experience. I guess not to complain about anything. No. No, sweetie, you really need to get off drugs because you're going to ruin your life, honey. And, I will and, pray for you. And the racism as well, really, the and racism. And racism and the drugs. Okay. All right, now suck my dick for the 50 bucks that you want. <laughs> Take goodbye. All right, now, look, just kiss my ring, okay? Goodbye. No, 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 kiss my ring or I'm calling your mom. Go ahead. Kiss my ring. Bye. Kiss my ring, hey, Dave. Man. You know where I can get some ice? <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I had to interject with some intervention there because it sounded like he was going to cry. How fucking scared were you? God, his voice was so different. You could tell he was like high as shit, but he was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just killed his buzz. Holy we sure as fuck, dude. That was a total buzz kill. We <laughs> fucked this whole night up.